Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be doing my top five under five dollars. Now, it's very hard to actually find makeup that is good and cheap. So these are my top five that are actually good, to me at least, and also under five dollars. I have other cheap makeup. My primary shopping experience is with e.l.f. and NYX and most of those things are like five dollars-ish, you know? So yeah. Get ready to watch this video and see five products you can get for under $25 without tax. Woo! The first product is LA Girl Lip Liners. Now, I primarily got this because of looking for a dupe for that MAC lip liner. Not because of Wednesday wearing it, because I didn't even watch that show yet. Um, but because I wanted that one. Night Moth, that's what it's called. And Vamp was supposed vamp was supposed to be a dupe for that and it is and it's actually better because it's like three dollars instead of like 23 dollars from mac so i'll definitely take that um these are all different prices apparently vamp was the first one that i got and these this is the actual length it's very long but i sharpened this one this was like three dollars this one's like almost four dollars 349 i think it was and this one is $4.99, like directly under $5. And this is the Shockwave version. These two are their regular wooden pencil lip liners. So yeah, I don't know how different they're supposed to be and why they were different prices, especially these two, because they're the same thing, but they're all good. I like them all and they're all under $5. So yeah, if you need a lip liner, go to LA Girl. They're really good. The next item is probably going to get discontinued, so like, you know, d don't, don't yell at me, essentially. Yeah. Um, this is the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick. I got this in 2020, I think, because it was my first brown lipstick when I was looking for brown. This is a nice brown. The only problem is, is that it's more red than brown. So if you want a reddish brown lipstick, this is top tier and it's only $3. I got this off of Ulta, but now they're not on Ulta anymore. They're only on the e.l.f. website. So, you know, if you want to get it, go get it from there. It's really good. And I highly recommend this. Like, this is such a good lipstick, and I don't know why they would be discontinuing it. I guess they want people to buy the $9 Old Face lipsticks, and they already got me because I bought one. But <laughs> these are good. So, yeah, if they're not discontinued by the time you're seeing this video, 100% recommend elf lip glosses these are the third product and they are three dollars i got this one from ulta this is the clear version it's just clear as far as i know um and this is the shade black cherry this i don't know if this is supposed to be a dupe for the black honey from clinique but it's called black cherry and my mom got this for me off of amazon this is a nice shade i literally was going to wear it today but instead i chose the clear because it wasn't working with the rest of the face um but yeah this is a nice berry color it's a very i wouldn't say that it's opaque because you do get color but it's sheer these have a texture that are close to fenty so if you want a fenty gloss feel but you know without all the shimmer and stuff in it and also for three dollars instead of 20 then i would recommend the elf lip glosses the fourth product is this J Cat blush in the shade Dolly Peachy, and it is a nice blush malo formula. It is exactly what it says it is. This is sort of a, it's a red, I will give you that, but it's not red like this. It's orange and red mixed. I don't know how much in the intensities. You'll see it in the swatches I'm overlaying somewhere. It's going to be somewhere on here. I just don't know where I'm going to put it. Um, but yeah, this is a really good blush. It's very pigmented. So, you know, I do a light wash. It, it doesn't really look like anything on the camera, but in real life, you can see that my cheeks are kind of flush looking. Um, this is very pigmented. So like, you know, if you're not really into um, blushing, blushing, I'd say do a little, where's the opening at? Yeah, right here. What is going on? Do a little tap. See, like even that is a lot 
and that was the tiniest little brush across the top so this is a very pigmented blush it's $4.99 exactly so if you have this at an Ulta near you I'd say get it but you know choose wisely because <laughs> this is very pigmented now last but maybe least maybe least on this one is my elf brow products this is the only brow pencil that I use and when I want to make them darker I use the brow powders in here I say that this is least because I tried to swatch the wax parts the clear and the tinted and they're both hard and dry granted I did get this last year and it's not you know the most sealed thing but that's kind of crazy only a year but it is three dollars so. but yeah the brow powders they work they're basically the same shade even though they look different and this is the same shade as the darkest powder um swatches will be somewhere somewhere mm. but yeah these are the only brow products that I use and this is on occasion I use this every single time even if I don't use the color I use the spoolie in it so yeah top tier brow product only three dollars and I don't really care about my brows to make it like crisp especially because I literally have slits in my eyes so they will never be crisp um so yeah top tier brow product I also would like to put in a bonus item and that would be the elf bite size eyeshadows primarily this one and this one truffles and this is chocolate frosted sprinkles but this you can't get i don't think <laughs> because it was the dunkin donuts collab so you know ignore this one but this is truffles and i've had multiple of these and this is the only one that i kept so that's why i didn't put it in this video as like a highly recommend because I didn't keep any of the other ones but these two um but yeah if you like a different shade or colorway or whatever the heck get these quads they're nice they're simple they're easy um they're tiny and they're three dollars so you can get so much eyeshadow or better yet get a color you know you hate and then you can at least only spend three dollars on it instead of getting an entire palette for that one color that you're like, ah, maybe I'll wear it. These are good. But yeah, that was the end of the video. My top five under $5. I also have a list of my top 10 under $10, which is between the $5 and $10 range. So, you know, if you want to see that, comment down below. If you don't comment, I'm still probably going to make it. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz, and I will see you in another video. Bye!